I'm 16 years old and make $50,000 a month trading options in the stock market. I'm PB, and in this video, I'm basically showing you guys how I make $50,000 a month, how I got started, the journey, some of the things that I learned, and how you could learn also. It's going to be short, short, simple, straight to the point. I don't. I like to simplify things, guys. I don't like how everybody tries to make things so difficult and long. I'm straight to the point, no BS, straight content and value. Let's get into it. So when quarantine started, I was about 12 years old, and I was looking for ways to make money online. I figured I have all this free time. How can I make money online? So then I did some research, and I started drop shipping. I made a couple thousand dollars drop shipping. Then all my Facebook ad accounts got banned. I didn't really like it. I stopped because I didn't, that kind of thing of the Facebook accounts and the ads. So then I kept doing research and research and research. And one day was when I wasn't even trying to find anything. I was just scrolling on TikTok. Saw a video on trading. So then I went on YouTube and did some research on trading. The first video I saw was a video of this guy buying a Lamborghini fully from his trading profits. And I was like, dude, that's crazy. Like, that's inspiring. I want to get into this. So then I did some more research, and that whole night, I literally stayed up 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. By the time I was going downstairs, I didn't sleep the whole night. I was watching YouTube videos. My parents were downstairs, and I was like, you know, I didn't sleep. And they're like, why? I was like, I was doing research on trading, and I really want to get started. Can I get started? And they supported me. They said, yeah, go ahead. And then my dad actually told me he's a friend who day trades. So I was like, can you get me in touch with him? He's like, yeah. He got me in touch with this friend. And the guy said that, I said that on Twitter and I follow these guys that call out plays. I was like, okay, I'll do that. So I downloaded Twitter. I'm following these guys. I DM'd every single one of them. I DM'd like 120 people asking them questions. Probably like four or five of them responded. But that's the first lesson, guys. Never be afraid to ask questions and put yourself out there. Because what I'm about to tell you is going to, it's crazy. So a few months go by, I'm doing research, I'm losing money. Obviously, you lose money at first always. And I'm on a pod, I'm on a Twitter space listening. There's a guy, a professional trader, he's training for like 12 years. He was on the call and he was giving education. I did an AMA at the end. I requested to be a speaker and ask a question. They accepted me and I was like, I asked my question. And they nobody could believe how old I was, you know, like a 13, 12, 13 year old kid asking a question on Twitter space how to trade stocks. And I gained a few followers from that because they're like, dude, that's insane. Like, you're a kid trying to learn, you're gonna go far in life. And I gained some followers that day. And dude, from that day, I just kept expanding and expanding and using that base of like a hundred followers that I gained to keep growing and growing and growing. And like right now, I'm the most followed 16 year old in the world. It's just kind of crazy. I had Twitter, obviously, but um, yeah, so anyways, I, I kept trading and trading and kept losing money and blowing accounts, but then once I learned, like, okay, my mentor told me this. He said, PB, you're making the same mistakes over and over again. What you need to do is start journaling your trades and analyzing. What you need to do is figure out what are you doing in your winning trades and what are you doing in your losing trades and what do your losing trades have in common and what are your winning trades have in common it's so really a data game everything is a data game like even when i'm growing my business it's like okay if we get this many people into this and how many will convert into this same thing with trading if i take this many trades with this setup how many am i going to win compared to how many am i going to lose based off previous back testing data and stuff like that. Everything's data, guys. Data, 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 and backtesting. So that's what I did. And I backtested all my trades and I figured, okay, I am not buying low and selling high anymore. I'm just going to trade the trend and stop trading the range. So what I, then what I did is I figured, all right, let me trade the trend. So I found my retest strategy. Instead of trading breakouts and breakdowns, I started to trade a retest. Pre-market high retest, trend retest, etc. And I know you're probably so confused right now, but I have tons of videos on that on my YouTube and Instagram, tons of Instagram videos. Literally under 60 seconds, you can learn how. Just follow me on Instagram, link in bio. But anyways, I found my strategy, right? And then everything clicked after about a year and a half. Everything clicked. 
And it was just boom, 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 boom. A consistency. Base hit, base hit, base hit, base hit, base hit, base hit. I wasn't trying to get rich overnight. I wasn't trying to hit a home run. I was just trying to get from base one to base two to base three to base four. Because what happens is when you focus on hitting the base hit, you're eventually going to get in the position to get a home run. Okay? So same thing in every business. Not just trading. Stop trying to get rich overnight. Instead, find something that works and keep doing it if it's working. Over and over and over and over and over again. I do the same exact thing today that I was doing back then, two, two and a half years ago, when I found that aha moment. I do the same exact thing every single day. I trade the same setup every single day. And it's like in business, same thing. Like whatever you're doing, if it works, don't stop. Obviously, you can expand to it and add more strat setups and strategies. But if it's not broken, don't fix it. So that was kind of my trading journey. And then about a year ago, I started. Oh, I opened up an educational trading company because I figured if I'm a kid, right? I'm a kid, and I found this skill and I've had success at something I'm so passionate about at a young age. Let me teach others because I can make everything that sounds so difficult in the market simple. The truth is, the reason most people don't get into the market is they think, dude, it's just so difficult. I'm straight. That's why my motto is I make the difficult simple for my unique way of sharing education and knowledge. There was something there. That's what differentiated me from everybody else. And, you know, fast forward now, we have thousands of students. We've changed countless of lives. And, you know, I'm still growing. I'm just getting started. We have a free Discord also. Make a bio. But, yeah, that is basically how... I've gotten to where I am today. So I trade stocks and I have an educational trading company and um, called New Age Trading. So yeah, that is kind of my income ranges. I've made 25 grand in a day. You know, a few weeks ago, I made $30,000 in a week. You know, I've had countless 15, 20K days. Like money doesn't really phase me anymore. It's like money, it's like another day, you know? I can lose four or 5K in a day and not really like feel much. Obviously, I hate people always say you have to take your emotions out of it. You do, but it's impossible. We're humans. We're made with emotions. It's impossible to take emotions 100% out. What you need to do is control your emotions, not take them out. Control them, not be emotionless. It's impossible to be emotionless. All you have to do is control them. So what I would recommend for you guys to get started is you don't even have to get started trading, even though I think trading is the best. Um, but what you need to do is find something you like a lot. If whether it's online or an inner life business or whatever it is, find something you like and go all in. You have to be unbalanced. I was so unbalanced when I started. Like my life was literally trading, 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 trading. I missed so many parties. I missed so many hangouts. Dude, I went ghost. I literally, I went ghost. Everyone's like, yo, where have you been? I'm like, I'm just doing my own thing right now. Like, people were making fun of me. People were calling me a loser. People were, they were all hating on me. But, I mean, fast forward now, and they're all calling my phone. But that's not even the point. The point is, ignore what everybody's saying. Focus on yourself. Focus on your life. What their opinions are on you, it's not going to matter. So you have to become 100% unbalanced. And I'm going against what so many people say. Balance is key, blah, 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 blah. You think you're going to become part of the 1% if you're doing what the other 99% are and having balance? No. Obviously, when you get to the point where I'm at now, it's okay to have balance, even though I'm still scaling. And I'm hoping, I hope within the next five to six months, I'm doing 100K a month. Seriously, I, I think I could. I actually, I don't think I could. I know I could. But for me, it was like, look, I'm either going to make it a trading or I'm going to never, like, I, there's no option. Failure is not an option. You guys need to realize, like, if you say in your head, if you put it where it's like, I cannot fail, it is impossible for me to fail, then they're not going to fail. Because in my head, I said, look, I am so deep into this. I see the potential in this. It's either I'm going to make it in trading or I'm never going to stop trying. Never. And there was a point where I wanted to give up. I was about to get into high school and I was like, dude, what? 
like, do I really want to spend my high school years going into this? And actually, my parents even texted me saying, like, PB, are you sure you want to keep trading after everything you've gone for and not seeing much results? They said, like, you have to make a choice because you're going into your high school year. We want you to enjoy your high school years. We don't want you to keep being like this. But I told them, no, I'm going to keep doing it. And that's when I realized, like, that was my point where it's like, I have to do this right now. I have to make it. Well, they they tell them that text to me, and that's when I did it. So, yeah, it's 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 okay, guys. It's okay when you get to that point. And I feel like you guys, just so you guys know, the moment most people give up is a time where they're about to elevate. So don't give up on whatever you're doing and trust the process. Like it gets to a point where, put it in boxing perspectives. It's the twelfth round. It's a tie right now. And the other guy is thinking, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and fighting it out and taking it to the end. But the winner is thinking, it's the 12th round. What am I going to do differently? What am I going to pull out that I haven't pulled out yet? Because obviously to tie what I'm doing, what I'm doing right now, I need to give what I haven't given yet. I have to need to go all in. I need to figure something out. And once you put yourself in that predicament, it's one that's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. So, um, yeah, there's my little rant on, you know, making money and stuff like that. But if you want to take the trading route that I take, and I personally love, I think it's the best thing in the world. I can, <laughs> I go on vacation and it's not a vacation. It's work with a different view. That's the truth because you can trade from anywhere. I mean, you guys know, I started literally trading in the back of class for two and a half, three years. I was trading in the back of class, hiding my phone under my desk and like it was so hard now i'm a co-op student you know i have hours where i trade uh, for all my school gives me but yeah that's how i started so if i were you and to get started i would say find something that you really like go all in on it figure out how you can scale it and just send it and just start now and don't watch this video and think okay i'm gonna start tomorrow no Start right now, go in your Google Docs, go whatever you're going to do, take a notebook and just start writing out a plan. Because what most of you guys are going to do is you're going to watch this video and you're gonna be like, yeah, I'm going to start tomorrow. The real winners are going to realize, okay, I have this dream. PB just gave me a dream of what I could be doing. Now what I need to do is make a goal. What are my goals going to be? Next, I have to make a plan to achieve those goals. Okay, what is my plan going to be? to achieve these goals, to get to this dream? And then how am I going to execute this plan to hit these milestones? And that's your blueprint right there. Execute a plan that hits certain goals that will align with your dream. And that's literally, that's the best advice I can give to you. And if you want to learn how with trading, I mean, just watch my YouTube videos. I really, really recommend joining my free trading discord. It's the link in the bio. Also following me on Instagram. I give so much free education on there. But um, yeah, guys, I'm going to be posting much more on my YouTube. I'm going to try and get out at least one video every single week. So if you like more videos like this, and I'll go deep into my trading strategy. I'll go deep into advice for overall entrepreneurship in high school or young age or overall and so much more experiences I've had. Just to subscribe to me, comment if you like this video or anything could have done better. Comment any questions you have for me. I'd love to answer them. Shout this video a like. And um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Much more coming. Peace. Sorry, by the way, I'm a little bit sick. <laughs> My voice is like that.